You want kid on TV? What are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? The innocent words of a drunken child. Well, I'll tell you what we're looking at, young man. A town gone mad. A town whose very conscience was washed away in a tide of beer and green vomit. Zeke's Action News. News. Last place an impressionable kid can go for TV violence. Now, here's your action anchor, Kent Brockman. Hello, I'm Kent Brockman. Our top stories tonight, a tremendous explosion in the price of lumber. President Reagan dies. His hair, says Gary Trudeau in his new musical comedy review. But first, let's check the death count from the killer storm bearing down on us like a shotgun full of snow. Well, Kent, as of now, the death count is zero, but it is ready to shoot right up. Oh, my God. Damn. This is Kent Brockman with a special report from the Channel 6 news copter. A large bear-like animal, most likely a bear, has wandered down from the hills in search of food or perhaps employment. Please remain calm. Stay in your homes. <laughs> Looks like bad news for the Impson family. When cat burglaries start, can mass murders be far behind? This reporter isn't saying that the burglar is an inhuman monster like the Wolfman, but he very well could be. So, Professor, would you say it's time for everyone to panic? Yes, I would, Kent. Tonight on I on Springfield, just miles from your doorstep, hundreds of men are given weapons and trained to kill. The government calls it the Army. But a more alarmist name would be the Killbot Factory. But first, Springfield has come down with a fever. Football fever brought on by the biggest game of the year. The big skin classic between the Shelbyville Sharks and our own Springfield Adams. If you have the fever, there's only one cure. Take two tickets and see the game Sunday morning. Warning, tickets should not be taken internally. At Camp Krusty. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been to Vietnam, <coughs> Afghanistan, and Iraq, and I can say without hyperbole that this is a million times worse than all of them put together. Burn, Krusty, burn! Burn, Krusty, burn! A group of school-age Spartacuses has taken this camp by force. Three counselors are missing and presumed scared. What's that? I'm being told I can have an exclusive interview with the ringleader. Don't be the boy. Don't be the boy. No! I just want the whole world to know that this was a really crappy camp. Can I say crappy on TV? Yes, on this network you can. And like Icarus, the rocket foolishly soared too high and lost control of its servo guidance mechanism, leaving us with some... Six hours to live. So, let's go live now to the charred remains of the only bridge out of town with Arnie Pie and Arnie in the Sky. With the bridge gone and the airport, unfortunately, on the other side of the bridge, a number of citizens are attempting to jump the gorge with their cars. It's a silent testament to the never give up and never think things out spirit of our citizens. With our utter annihilation imminent, our federal government has snapped into action. We go live now via satellite to the floor of the United States Congress. Then it is unanimous. We are going to approve the bill to evacuate the town of Springfield in the great state of... Wait a second. I want to tack on a rider to that bill. $30 million of taxpayer money to support the perverted arts. All in favor of the amended Springfield slash pervert bill? Uh... Bill defeated. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Democracy simply doesn't work. Now, over the years, a newsman learns a number of things that for one reason or another, he just cannot report. It doesn't seem to matter now, so... The following people are gay. Turn off! Just a second. Mm -hmm. Tragic news tonight. 120 dead in a tidal wave in Kuala... La -la Pier. Kuala Lumpur. France. Yoink. Yoink. Ah, <gasps> uh, heck. Now, uh, where am I gonna get a Danish? Here's a Danish, Krusty. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, uh, 
Now that's Danish. Where'd you get it? I stole it from Kent Brockman. Mm. Great. Right. Ugh. He didn't touch it, did he? No. Uh, good job, kid. What's your name? I'm Bart Simpson. I saved you from jail. Oh, I... I reunited you with your estranged father. Uh, I don't know. I saved your career, man. Remember your comeback special? Yeah, well, what have you done for me lately? I got you that Danish. And I'll never forget it. Hey, kid. Wow. A big clown hanky. It's a towel, you yutz. I want you to wash it. You're my new assistant. Cool. Yeah, I know I'm on, but I don't care. I don't read the news until I get my Danish. Go ahead, try to find a replacement. Ah! <clears throat> a powerful tidal wave in Kuala Lumpur has killed 120 people. Hey, Chihuahua! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're just about to get our first pictures from inside the spacecraft with average not Homer Simpson. And we'd like to... Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've just lost the picture, but uh, what we've seen speaks for itself. The Corvair spacecraft has apparently been taken over, conquered, if you will, by a master race of giant space ants. It's difficult to tell from this vantage point whether they will consume the captive Earthmen or merely enslave them. One thing is for certain, there is no stopping them. The ants will soon be here. And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. I'd like to remind them that as a trusted TV personality, uh, I can be helpful in rounding up others to toil in their underground sugar caves. <laughs>